close your eyes and let your mind settle down with the breath. The mind needs a good, stable place to stay, because as the this is what I said, it's like winds blowing from all directions in life. Gain comes and then loss. Status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things blow around all the time. And if we're not strongly rooted in the ground, we can get blown away by them. When good things come, it builds up our pride. When bad things come, our pride gets blown to pieces. That's if we let these things have an impact on us. The kind of mind state the Buddha defined as ideal is when he said it's like a stone pillar. Sixteen spans tall, eight of the spans buried underground. And that you're really solidly fixed, both in terms of your concentration and in terms of your discernment. So you can recognize these winds for what they are as just part of the world, but not necessarily it's anything you have to identify with. You can step back from them and have a sense of well-being inside. That's what the concentration is for. To help provide that sense of being at home right here, regardless of what comes up. Because the world is not an easy place to live in. And we can often make it harder for ourselves by taking the attitudes of the world and putting them in our own mind. So we've got to learn how to keep them outside. This is the way other people think. But you don't necessarily have to think the way they do. You get along with them and you learn how to play the rules of their culture. But you don't have to necessarily believe them deep down inside. And so the concentration gives you a place where instead of having to feed off the praise and status and gain that the world has to offer, you've got some to feed on inside, a sense of well-being, a sense of your own inner worth. It comes from practices like generosity, virtue, and the meditation. When your mind can be solid like this, then you can live in the world and not get blown to pieces by it. So try to work at this sense of a good, solid center. Take the breath as your object and be observant of the breath so you can know what kind of breathing is going to feel really good that the mind can settle down with. And then learn how to maintain that in all kinds of situations. And the world won't blow you away.